You know, children with cancer often lose their hair during treatment. And this weekend in the Woodlands, dozens of their closest supporters will go bald right alongside them. It's all for a very important cause. Sally McDonald is in our newsroom with more on this. Sally, a child should never have to go through anything like this, but at least people are supporting them to put a smile on their little faces. It is great to see the support that so many of these kids are being shown. Those volunteering to have their heads shaved, they sign up, they collect money, and then they take their turn turn in the barber's chair. All across the country, events just like this are taking place in March to benefit the organization St. Baldrick's. Sally, I want to thank you for coming to the Goose's Acre. Welcome to our little abode. This is one of the original Irish pubs in Ireland. Before St. Patrick's Day comes St. Baldrick's Day. For the seventh year, stylists are taking over the Goose's Acre pub. It's a, an opportunity for people to shave their heads to raise money for children's cancer research. Topless Johnny, as the event's organizer is known, has over the years inspired nearly 300 people to shave their heads. Everybody here has a personal uh, story to tell about cancer. Stories like Sean Montemurno's, who was diagnosed as a toddler with a rare type of sarcoma. Yeah, I had a healthy child at preschool one day, and then the next day we were, um, you know, getting tested, and within three weeks we found out he had cancer, and we thought, cancer? Like, who gets cancer at two years old, you know? Sean's mom got involved with the St. Baldrick's Foundation, a charity that aims to fill the cancer funding gap. Well, like most um, entities that provide cancer money, um, give very little to children since it's not as common in children. And that obviously is not acceptable to a parent of a childhood cancer survivor. She and her husband have shaved their heads three times. <laughs> This year, their sons are taking over. <laughs> Michael is going bald in honor of his brother, Sean. How does that make you, you feel as a survivor to see other people shave their heads for you? I feel um, just proud. Sean's cancer has been in remission for more than four years now. His story of survival brings tears to employees of the pub. So the first year they came, 2008, we saw Sean sick, and we've watched him, and now he's just, you know, a beautiful, healthy boy, and it's just very uh, emotional to, to watch him grow up and know that, you know, we're helping raise money to do that for other children. The goal is to raise thousands of dollars, but topless Johnny says what matters even more is the hope each family carries with them. This is an emotional roller coaster around here, uh, and it's great. And absolutely anyone can show up Sunday starting at 3 o'clock. That's at the Goose's Acre along the waterway in the Woodlands. If you are up for getting your head shaved, they ask for a minimum $50 donation. There are other ways to give back, too, including bidding on silent auction items or just cutting your hair to donate to a program that makes wigs for cancer patients. Melissa and Jose, it's going to be a great time out there at the waterway on Sunday. Yes, it will be. It's a wonderful effort to help some children who really need to know that they have a future. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you, Sally. It's a big thing for so many people to do. It really is. 835 right now.